welcome back it is your boy Omar does things and I'm back with another video make sure to stay tuned for weekly content and please leave a comment if you guys have any ideas for future videos thank you guys for tuning into the channel and just supporting me as always I really appreciate it make sure to leave a like as always and subscribe for weekly content I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a stock video or even talked about stocks on my channel I do like to keep it just a little low-key and not mention it too much just because everybody has their own opinion on stocks the market stocks to invest in so I just wanted to make this video to show you what my long-term portfolio looks like at the age of 17 I've been developing it slowly over the year I have the top three stocks out of my portfolio that I want to show you in these companies I see long-term growth in the next three to four years five years however long you guys want to hold these stocks for so before we get into these stock picks I just want to let you guys know I'm not a financial advisor please do not come to me for any stock picks or ask me are these good plays all I do is invest in stocks I do not trade options on Robinhood or any other apps like that but with these stocks you can definitely see major growth in the next three to five years the first stock we have on the list is rocket companies ticker symbol RKT or you guys might also know the company as rocket mortgage it focuses on home ownership and personal finance things like that for mostly adults it's also good to know if you're a young adult it's currently undervalued on the stock market sitting at about $20 per share I've been having it on my watch list I would say three to four weeks and I've seen it go from about maybe a high to $21 $22 if even that besides having its 52 week high of $34 after its earnings report showed very good earnings so that ran it up and after that had a 52 week low of about $17 so congratulations if you did pick up on rocket mortgage on the very low I am considering holding rocket mortgage for the next three to four years honestly for major growth in this company you guys might see advertising for rocket mortgage like commercials i usually see them when i'm watching like my football games monday night anything like that i'll definitely see a rocket mortgage commercial i've also seen a youtuber nate shot talk about rocket mortgage in one of his youtube videos about i would say roughly over a year ago two years ago that honestly just shows they're making big moves they also had their ipo date it was august 5th 2020 i think so it was recently also focuses on low interest rates which means more money in consumers pockets to spend on household goods houses rocket mortgage has about 66 percent held institutions next stock we have on the list is neo ticker symbol nio the sector for neo is electric vehicles you guys might have heard of these electric vehicle companies but neo i see huge growth potential tesla is an ev company that took off crazy from 2018 all the way to 2020 and still after getting added to the S&P 500, I can see a huge run up to maybe even from $500 to $1,000 per share in the coming years. NIO has the potential to be the next Tesla in China. I see huge growth behind. I also can see NIO helping the environment in China by making their EV vehicles a huge wave, Just trying to clean up the environment, not using so much pollution and gas. NIO is currently sitting at $53 per share. After seeing a huge run up in the EV sector last week, I can still see this run up, a bull run all the way up to 2025. We see NIO sitting at about $53 per share compared to Tesla sitting at $584 per share. For NIO, I see huge potential at this price point. Honestly, I'm looking to pick up any shares on a huge dip and Neo could take. Sorry about that, my camera just died. Neo has delivered a total of 31,340 cars in 2020, looking at about 111% year over year, which is looking great for the company's growth and sales. Also, the cars look beautiful. This company, if you guys have seen the cars, I'll put a, put a picture up here for you guys, but cars look sexy man if I had if I had some dimes and I had some funds I would go out there and buy myself one as well they also work very close with the Chinese government which I would say is a good sign any company that works closely with the Chinese government hey you have not backed by you looking at about 39% held in institutions which is also looking great for the third stock pick we have Apple you guys might be saying why would this man buy an Apple or you might be saying Smart pick, maybe just too expensive for the long term. Ticker symbol AAPL. Apple sector is software and hardware. You guys may have seen the new M1 Mac chip. The M1 Mac chip basically just gets rid of the Intel processors in the MacBook and replaces it with the M1 chip. The takeaway from this is there's been great reviews, and if it continues to get positive feedback, we can see huge potential for the M1 chip to be used in different items that Apple uses. Also, when it comes to technology, I almost own everything Apple. My iPhone is Apple. My Apple Watch is Apple. My AirPods are Apple. I, I, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this besides saying that I 
buy all of these Apple products and um, I don't know why I wouldn't invest in a company that I like. I find like Apple is a great buy. And I feel that a lot of people, maybe even you, own a lot of Apple products. The stock price is currently sitting at about $116 per share, which might seem to be a little bit high for you guys. But for me, it kind of seems pretty undervalued. Apple looking at a 52 week low of $52 back when COVID hit in March 2020. Compared to companies like Tesla and Netflix, for example, we have a $400 company when we look at Netflix and we have a $500, almost $600 company when we look at Tesla. Now we have a $116 company when we look at Apple. I feel as though Apple's price and the stock is undervalued and I feel that they can grow. Also, Apple pays a monthly dividend if you own the stock and have shares, which is honestly great for a long-term portfolio. I would like to have more stocks in my long-term as I grow over the years. Like I said, I haven't been doing this for too long, but I wanna give you guys my top three stock picks. Lastly, Apple has about 58% held in institutions, which I like. And I'm gonna keep this stock for a while because I wanna see where Apple goes sitting at about $160 per share. I wanna see if, it, if it's valued a little bit higher than that in the next five years. Rocket Mortgage, like I, like I said, a lot of these companies on my top three list, I personally think are pretty undervalued. But I think that has been the video. This is my long-term portfolio as a 17-year-old, looking to hold it for about the next four to five years and develop more and more stocks in my portfolio. These are only the top three stocks. We have Apple, we have Neo, and we have Rocket Mortgage. If you guys do enjoy videos like this, not only educational videos, but also just me talking to you, let me know by leaving a like and of course, subscribing to the channel. Feedback always helps. You guys know, I love you guys. We keep growing, ODT Nation. That's just what we do. It has been your boy. I will catch you guys in the next video on my does thing. Peace.